Netflix's adaptation of Six and Lou's sci-fi masterpiece, Three Body Problem, throws us into a world on the brink. Aliens from a distant planet, the Santai or Trisolarans are preparing to invade Earth. But humanity isn't going down without a fight. The Trisolarans, unlike most alien invaders in fiction, aren't a monolithic force. Their home planet, Trisolaris, is a chaotic world with a three-sun system that wreaks havoc on their climate. This constant struggle for survival translates into a ruthless, paranoid civilization. The Trisolarans possess advanced technology, including the Sophons, subatomic particles that can fold space and spy on humanity. Here's the problem. Any plan discussed openly could be intercepted by the Sophons, giving the Trisolarans the upper hand. The Wallfacer Project is a drastic solution. These individuals are chosen for their unique skills and mental fortitude. They are tasked with formulating strategic plans for Earth's defense, but with a crucial twist. They can't share these plans with anyone, not even each other. Our first wall facer is General Ho Bolin. He is a military expert with decades of real-world experience. His books on military history are taught around the world, and he has demonstrated an ability to end violent conflicts effectively. General Bolin brings extensive military experience to the table. He'd be responsible for analyzing the Trisolar and technology revealed through the Sophones and assessing their potential military capabilities. He could develop defensive strategies, analyze potential battle plans, and advise on resource allocation for military preparedness. The Wallfacer project likely requires significant resources. General Bolin's experience might extend to managing resources efficiently and ensuring they have the necessary infrastructure and supplies to carry out their plans. Military experience often fosters discipline and leadership skills. General Bolin could provide stability and ensure the wall facers maintain focus and execute their plans effectively under immense oppressor. Our second wall facer is Professor Layla Arik. She is a Kurdish war hero, came into prominence fighting ISIS in Raqqa. She has exceptional experience in fighting and winning asymmetrical battles. A brilliant scientist by day, Layla became a fierce fighter by necessity when she found herself in the heart of the fight against ISIS. Her designation as a wall facer reflects not just her combat skills, but also her profound understanding of navigating asymmetrical conflicts against superior forces. The United Nations and the Planetary Defense Council turned to Arik for her unparalleled insights, recognizing her as a human firewall guarding humanity's survival strategies from the probing gaze of extraterrestrial entities like the alien Sophons. Our third and last wall facer is Saul Durand. His background as an astrophysicist makes him a prime candidate for the role of strategist. His analytical mind and understanding of cosmic phenomena could be crucial in devising defenses against potential Trisolaran attacks. Saul Durand could delve into the limited information available about the Trisolarans and their technology, searching for vulnerabilities that humanity could exploit. He might theorize about their weaponry, spaceship capabilities, and potential weaknesses arising from their chaotic home environment. Based on his analysis, Saul Durand could brainstorm defensive strategies. This could involve developing counterweapons, designing planetary defenses, or even devising ways to manipulate the solar system to hinder a Trisolaran invasion. He could attempt to predict the Trisolaran's tactics and movement patterns, anticipating their next steps and formulating contingency plans. Being a wall facer is a lonely and agonizing experience. Each individual carries the weight of humanity's future on their shoulders, with no one to confide in or bounce ideas off. They must rely solely on their intellect, intuition, and understanding of human nature to formulate plans that could potentially save the planet. The Wall Facer Project hinges on complete secrecy, but this creates a major dilemma. How can these individuals effectively collaborate and strategize when they can't share their plans? The series explores this tension constantly. The Wall Facers attempt to communicate with each other through coded messages and metaphors, but the risk of exposure is ever-present. The future of humanity rests on the success of the Wallfacer Project. Can these isolated individuals overcome their personal demons and the limitations imposed by absolute secrecy? Can they develop a strategy that outwits the ruthless Trisolarans? Three, body problem leaves these questions unanswered, setting the stage for a thrilling and uncertain future for humanity. The Netflix series takes some liberties with the source material. 
In Sixin Liu's original novel, the Wallfacer project is much more extensive, involving a larger number of individuals across different disciplines. The novel also delves deeper into the psychological toll of isolation on the Wallfacers. Additionally, the series condenses the timeline and combines certain characters' storylines for a more streamlined narrative. The Wallfacers are a powerful symbol in three-body problem. They represent the desperate lengths humanity is willing to go to in the face of annihilation. Their isolation and the limitations imposed on them highlight the fragility of human cooperation and the difficulty of planning for an unknown enemy 